a landscape that might have one meaning for me and another meaning for you. It opens up possibilities for interpretation that take us to other places based upon personal experience. My name is Franklin Sermons. I'm the director of the Perez Art Museum Miami, and I'm also a co-curator of Teresita Fernandez Elemental. Think about landscape, for instance, just in terms of being a genre, specifically of sort of traditional um, art making experiences. She explodes that traditional idea completely on its head. One way that she describes her relationship to creating landscapes is she calls them stacked landscapes to suggest this idea that there is almost like sedimentary layers, which relates to geology in the same way, but more metaphorically, and that we are looking at layers of, of, of time that are, are, are part of the experience of any landscape. So there is a, there's a direct reference to a colonial landscape. I've been spending a lot of time thinking about what the landscape actually looked like before colonization. The landscape and the land in the Americas was manipulated in very sophisticated ways for thousands of years before Europeans ever arrived. I like to think of like Italo Calvino, this idea of um, invisible cities uh, in a way, right? They're, they may have a reference point uh, in the mind of, of the artist or when she's creating them, but they allow for us to see things in a way that is much broader. This is Nocturnal Horizon Line, work that's been created by graphite, all of it. Painting, or shall you say sculpture? It has elements of both. When you look at the top of that surface, you see this kind of, this sheen, this kind of glare that almost makes it have qualities of reciprocity, of being almost like a mirror. And then you go down a little bit and the graphite is kind of a little bit thicker, creating this horizon line and creating this kind of texture that almost looks like it could be waters, perhaps it could be a, a seascape. And then you go a little bit further and it gets thicker and it feels like the earth. So maybe we've gone from the sky down below to through the ocean and into the ground below, maybe. At the end of the day, this is a really beautiful painting. It's one of my favorites in the exhibition and I'm glad we uh, got to talk about it a little bit. Our exhibition ends with um, a series of works that are around the, the thematic of, of landscape and fire, right? The, the entire exhibition being called Elemental. And you can see the hand in that, and you can see like there are little tiny pieces of mosaic that make up this whole. And so much of her work is about looking at the, the things that make up a whole. In the case of going directly on the wall, I think there's clearly an immediacy to that gesture um, that is part of the moment and it cannot be divorced from the moment. You know, they, they came at a moment where it just seemed completely inappropriate to be subtle. You know, those pieces were about American violence and they were about yeah. the land and like the, the destruction of, of, of the land in many ways, right? And so just the climate just seemed like it wasn't appropriate to just make it about something abstract, I love that. you know? And a part, a big part of who she is, is, is an activist in addition to being an artist. And I think those things can be one and the same. And in her body and practice, it really is. So they're coming to the fore in a much bigger way, I would say right now, but they've always been there. <laughs>